What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's Thursday night matchup. You had the Tennessee Titans beating the San Francisco 49ers 20-17. to um, Before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come highlight at your ball. Also, if you a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Um, Y'all may hear a beeping noise throughout the video. Um, uh, I please uh, apologize for that and please disregard that. That um, I do apologize for the inconvenience. Um, what a football game. This was a very, very entertaining football game between two teams that's battling for playoff um, spots. Uh, the Tennessee Titans trying to win the AFC South, the San Francisco 49ers um, trying to hold on into the NFC wild card. And early on, the 49ers was dominating this game defensively. Um, they had a 10 0 lead at the half. Uh, they ran the ball. They got after Tannehill. Tannehill couldn't get it going. Tennessee just couldn't do nothing. Then in the third quarter, they just really turned it on, man. A.J. Brown, um, you know, started taking over um, a career high, 11 catches, and he also had 145 yards um, and a touchdown. He just took over. Um, he just showed the world why he's one of the better young receivers in the league. Uh, San Francisco absolutely couldn't do nothing with him at all. Um, just making good acrobatic catches, tough physical catches, um, showing a lot of emotion. And that's good for him. The Titans need that as he missed a few games this season. And um, especially with, with a guy with Derrick Henry out, you know, and uh, Julio Jones still not quite himself yet. Uh, it was big for the Tennessee Titans to get such a great performance by their very, very young, talented Extremely talented receiver, A.J. Brown. Um, and then the Titans defense stepped up. Uh, for the 49ers, of course, um, you know, Debo Samuel, who's just been amazing all season, had another big-time performance. Uh, Brandon IU gets in the end zone. But uh, the Titans defense did a good job um, intercepting Jimmy Garoppolo twice and really keeping George Kittle in check. I think Kittle might have had, like, a couple of catches for like 20 something yards on the night. And Kittle has been on an absolute tear at the tight end position lately, uh, just getting a lot of catches and a lot of receiving yards. So you got to give the Tennessee Titans a whole lot of credit for that. Um, just a great, just a great job by them. They've been slumping re as recently. Uh, they started off really hot this year. I think like eight and two or something like that, then lost three of their next four. Um, so it's a big win for them right now. They 10 and five. Um, they got a chance to clinch the AFC South this week with a, a loss by the Colts as they already swept the Colts this season. Our season got the tie break over them. Uh, so, good win for the Tennessee Titans, man. Real, real nice win. A very, very good football Thursday night football game. And for the 49ers, obviously, it's a tough blow for them because they had a 10 nothing lead, but uh, they let it get away from them. Jimmy Garoppolo has got to be better, yo. He, he got to be better. Um, when he's playing at a good level, this team is extremely hard to beat because they had, they can run the football with Wilson and when they get Elijah Mitchell back. They have weapons in George Kittle, who's one of the better tight ends in the league, Debo Samuel, who's had an amazing season, and Brandon Ayuk. Those are three real, real quality receivers. So for them, Jimmy Garoppolo has, has just got to do a better job uh, <clears throat> uh, for one, protecting the football. Uh, he can't turn the ball over. Uh, to me, he had one early in the end zone where he tried to force a pass to George Kittle that got picked. And then late in the game with a 10-3 lead, he turns it over deep in his own territory, which allows Tennessee to get an easy, a, sh a real, real short field and get themselves an easy touchdown to tie the game up. And we all know how it ended. Randy Bullock with the... um the game-winning field goal kick after a beautiful run by Ryan Tannehill. And uh, the Titans get it done, man, over a good 49ers team. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. 
hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.